Hi, welcome to my next video. This time I wanted to show you the next part in the series in which I do the illustrations for the Docomo 2021 calendar. Docomo, which is one of the biggest cellular carriers in Japan, asked me to do scenes of Japan, 12 scenes plus a cover for 2021 calendar that they wanted to make that would feature places from around Japan where they are trying to do something interesting with their cellular technologies. As I said in the previous videos, I don't accept commissions so often, mostly only when the art, the theme, the uh, thing that I would have to paint is interesting for me and I would like to do it either way. And I thought that this chance of painting 12 illustrations from really, really different parts of Japan featuring all kinds of different scenes would do me good to just uh, learn and train my digital painting abilities. Because the only thing that Docomo wanted really was for me to make these illustrations in digital and not with watercolors. Recently also I'm trying to move away from this kind of commissions, from this kind of painting, which means less painting of things that are really there based on photos and direct references, but more painting things from imagination just inspired by real places. So I would think about a place or a story or a character, something that would start me on the journey of exploring a place that I'm imagining and then I would use photos, references, just to add these bits of realism that are needed for this scene to look real, look as real as just a real place. So you would feel like you could just go there and touch things and enter a shop, for example, or actually take a stroll down the street there or something. But I don't want you to think that I think that pictures like this one here, so painted straight from the reference, as it is, are worse or bad because they are not. It's just I think that if I would be able to paint an imaginated scene as well as I can paint a scene from reference, then I would be free to do some things that I cannot do with just photos. I can paint a scene that has some story in it, I can paint a scene that is fit for the characters that I have in mind or for the animation that I have in mind, being free to use whatever perspective, whatever things in the scene, whatever setting, whatever time of day and so on that I can imagine. So I'm more flexible to do what I want with the scene and I'm not just limited with the photos that I went and took or someone took for me. Doing this right is what I'm thinking about most recently and what I'm trying to do in my pictures and my sketches. Here, of course, I'm just using photos that a person from the ad agency took for me because this was already pandemic season, so I was not able to go there and see these fields of flowers by myself. And these are cosmos flowers, which are called the cherry blossoms of the autumn in Japan, so Akizakura, and this is because the shape of the flower is really similar to the shape of the sakura, so the cherry blossom flowers. And it's a very popular touristic attraction to just go and see these huge fields of cosmos flowers in bloom in the autumn. And this one is located in the Mie prefecture. I was told to paint this one so you can actually feel how vast it is, so the main thing to do in this picture was to simulate the distance, is to paint the distance well. And I'm not only talking about the mountains in the background which had to look like they are really really far away, but also about the flowers themselves. So we have some flowers that are really close to the camera, so they are really detailed and big, and ones that are just pinpricks in the distance. So I had to simulate the distance with this texture of flowers just getting smaller and smaller and smaller and the less detailed. This was a very daunting task, but it's actually a thing that I like as with the grass in the texture of the islands before. I like to kind of meditate using these textures because you cannot really copy paste it too much. You have to paint most of the flowers actually. So I just sit there and paint the flowers and listen to a podcast or something and or just listen to nothing and meditate and switch my mind off a bit, relax 
once I know what I'm aiming for and how I'm going to draw all these textures, then I can relax and just leave it to my hand and think about other things or talk with Kana or with someone other. I know that some places on the internet recommend doodling for artists as a form of relaxation and meditation. So I think painting textures like this is a really close experience to this for me. Overall, I think it took me more than 11 hours to finish all the details that were needed for this final version. Okay, I'll leave you here so you can see the rest of the process and I'll meet you at the end of the video. Okay, the picture is nearly finished. I had to constrain myself not to overdo the details on the flowers, especially ones that are farther back. And I think that in the end I managed to achieve what I was aiming for in this picture. So a good, realistic, but also painterly a bit texture of the flowers and showing the distance of the flower field and the mountains in the back. Overall, I think that this piece is one of my favorites from this series. I'm happy with the result, especially that this theme is not something that I specialize in, so there are no buildings and so on. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. As always, feel free to comment, share and subscribe, and you can also support me on Patreon. It's your support on Patreon that allows me to spend time making these videos. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye!